Welcome back to Simrite Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this class, you'll be learning how to make this beautiful shift kimono gown with side pockets, as you can see right here, with front strips and turn up sleeves, as you can see. So this is actually looking so gorgeous and beautiful. This is a dress you can use for any gorgeous occasion. You can see the back looking fine and beautiful. It's actually a shift dress and it's free. So if this is what you want to learn, please stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. How to make uh, this simple kimono dress. You can see right there on the thumbnail with center strips and turn up sleeves and side pockets as you can see. So you'll be learning how to make this simple kimono gown so to make this kimono gown i'm making use of two yards of ankara okay so this ankara i have here is two yards so i've already folded the two yards into four i folded first on fold then i folded again as you can see so i have four pieces as usual so the first thing we want to do now is to mark up our border, mark out our border line, okay? So to mark out the border line, I'm going to start right from the beginning to mark out my border line. So I'm trying to arrange my fabric the way I want it to. So here I'll be making, marking my border line. That is my starting point for this dress and from this point I'm going to measure my my chest line because that is where we are going to connect the kimono so from this point I'll measure my chest line my chest line is nine inches and I'll come down by half an inch then I'll rule my line okay so I'll not get the line so much across I don't want so much lines so if you're making your please turn the back part of it so you'll be able to and so you don't have your chalk lines on the front piece but for tutorial purpose i need you to see what i'm doing that's why i'm making my marks right here so i placed my tape on the shoulder line and i measured my chest line plus half an inch i'll measure my hip line okay we don't need our waistline because we are not shaping anything unless you want to give your uh, your kimono shift dress a little shape so if you want to give it a little shape this is my waistline i'll add half an inch to it this is my hip line i'll also add half an inch to it so in case you want to give a little shape to it all right so the next thing we want to do now we want to come over to the center front so this will be center front and center back okay so for my center front and center back, I'm going to take the measurement of my, I'm taking the measurement of my uh, shoulder. My shoulder is 15 inches, divided by 2 is 7 and half. But we don't actually need this, but I'll just make a mark at that 7 and half. Okay, this is a kimono shift, shift dress. So I'll mark my 7 and half, which is my half of the shoulder. Okay, so... I'll come over to mark my neckline on that same line for front and back. So I'm going to mark my back neckline right now. So I'm going to work with uh, 4 inches as my neckline width. And I'll work with 1.5 inch for my, okay, let me say 2 inches for my back neck width. Then I'll work with 4 inches for my front neck width okay i believe you understand what i just did there i'll take it again so once you have taken your shoulder from the center front once you have taken your shoulder measurement this is your shoulder measurement you mark you take your neck width neck width for back and front is the same i'm working with four inches for back and front then neck depth for back is two inches and neck depth for front is four inches so now i'm going to connect what i have here for the back first we are going to cut the back before we cut the front 
so this is my back and for the front I'll just make a cube or let me say a square so I'll be able to get my um, front neckline the way I want it so having made that I'll just place this here and here and I'll connect can you see so I've connected front and back right now so now like I said I'm making use of two yards so the tip of this um, of this that is where I'm going to take my shoulder slant line so my shoulder slant line here is one and a half so at the tip of this I'll mark one and a half and I'll connect this one and a half from this from this point we have our neckline okay I'll connect it straight to have the shoulder slant line. I believe this is on the stew. So you can see that. So we've done it. So the next thing we want to do now, we want to go over to the hip line. Because the hip line determines how we want the kimono dress to be. So on the hip line, which is this line, I will measure my hip circumference divided by 4. My hip circumference divided by 4 is... 12 and half then for this kimono dress i'm going to add two and a half inches okay so it depends on how free you really want it to be so let me add two and a half or you can add three inches if you don't want it too big so let me do two and a half plus one inch seam allowance that is three and a half okay so the ease i'm adding to my hip is two and a half and i'll add one inch for sewing allowance then i'll come over to the waist like i said if you need a shape to this shift dress okay so on the waistline if you need a shape i'm working with waist 10 inches and i'm going to add two and a half again for my waist and i'm going to add one inch for stitching allowance so i will transfer what i have here let me connect what i have on the waistline to the hip line first okay all right so i've connected it to the hip line so whatever i have here um, everything on the hip line here is 16. i'll come over to my hem line and i'll mark the same 16. then i'll connect it with a straight line from here to here, I'm going to connect it with a straight line. Can you see that? So that becomes my shape dress and you can see I'm putting a shape to it. So in case you don't want to put a shape to it, you can just go ahead and connect straight. Use your hip line for everything. But I, I don't want it to, I just want it to have a little shape. So now we want to talk about the kimono or the sleeve opening. So the sleeve opening measurement. From this shoulder slant on the tip, which is going to serve as my sleeve, I'm going to measure 10 inches, okay? So I'm going to take 10 inches. I don't really want the dress to be too, um, too tight. So I'm measuring 10 inches at that point. So I'll mark uh, my line of 10 inches. Then from this waistline i'll keep my ruler straight from this waistline to that 10 inches you can see what i did i'll make it meet this line and then i'll place my pattern curve ruler to create my kimono curve so this is my kimono curve can you see so i've marked my kimono curve so the next thing i'm going to do now i'll mark a straight line because this fabric is not actually straight Okay, so I'll just mark a straight line to define my the sleeve part. I believe you understand what I mean. The way the fabric is, I need to define it. So this is the straight line for the sleeve, which I've defined. So from this tip, I'll go in by one inch. Okay, I'll go in by one and a half because I'm still folding the sleeve. So I'll go in by one and a half. And this one and a half, I'm going to slant my ruler to the sleeve line. Okay? So I'll slant it to the tip of that shoulder drop. I believe you understand. So by the time I cut it now, you understand what I really did there. So
So we are done with this kimono dress. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut. Note that we've already added our seam allowance. So since we've already added our seam allowance, I will not bother adding another seam allowance. So I'll just go ahead and cut both front and back on the front neckline first before we separate. So you can see I cut the back, sorry, on the back neckline. Then here, where we have the sleeve, I went in to this point by one and a half. Then I'll follow the curve, which I just made for my kimono right now. Then I'll go ahead and cut through the shape of my shift dress. Can you see that? So this is what we have. So you can see the shape is already there, looking fine, nice, and beautiful, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to take away the inner part of this. That will serve as the back. I'm taking it away. Then I'm going to cut my front neck line. So this is the front one now. So we are going to cut the front neckline. So this is the front neckline. So I just cut it separately away from the back one. All right. So we are done with this dress, people. So the next thing we are going to do now is to start putting them together. So we are going to put it together. And note that we have a side pocket attached to it. So for this particular front neckline, which I cut now, that is where we are going to identify the side pocket. So the side pocket now, I'm going to, this is my waistline. So for you to fix your pocket very well, you have to step down from your waistline, two inches or two and a half. Let's do two and a half. Okay, that is standard for a pocket. Then... Your pocket size has to be the width. You can see how I spread my, my arms now, okay? So the width of what you have from one end of your, of your, to that, uh, sorry, to this is 9 inches. So your pocket width will be 10 inches, okay? So I'll just make a mark at my pocket width at 10 inches. So that is how we are going to sew it from here to here. So when I'm cutting my pocket now, I'll cut 11 inches because we need to stitch half an inch, half an inch, okay? So it's going to be a, a square. So you can see how I spread my, uh, my hand. So you need to spread your hand that way or you can take a standard measurement of 9 inches, add 10 inches to it, you can see. Then the uh, depth of it will be from here to here which is 8 inches, okay? So I'm going to cut 10 by 9 square fabric. Then I'll show you how to shape in it. So we are going to cut our pocket right now. So for the pocket now, because I don't really have enough fabric, okay? I'll be using this fabric for the pocket, but I'll, see, I'll still show you how I'll conceal the size of it so it doesn't show out of the uh, dress when you are wearing it. Okay, so just get yourself two and a half yards for this project. So for the pocket, I need four pockets for my side pocket. So like I said, it's going to be 10 by, uh, by 9. So since it's 10 by 9, I'll just I'll fold the first one as you can see. I'm going to fold the next one right now, okay, which is the second time. So I folded it once again. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to take my measurements. I have four pieces here. I have 10, or oh, let me do nine this way. Then do from here, 10. Okay, I will do 10 and half because I'll cut off half an inch from there. So this is what the pocket is going to look like. Then the pocket is going to be curved this way inside why this part will remain or be the front part so i just cut now okay then 
then I'll cut. These are the size of it. I'm going to cut it in. So I'll bring back my one of my fabric right now. Okay. So I'll bring back my fabric right away. The parts that I told you will be the front. So we will bring it and place it below. So this is how this pocket is going to be. So I'll place it, insert it below from this part that is going to. So you keep adjusting it till you have the shape. Can you see? So you can see how I, I adjusted it. This part will match up with this while we trim it off from here. So you can just go ahead and secure it with your pin. Make sure you keep it straight. So I have it straight right there. All right, so that becomes my pocket. So what I was actually saying is that since I don't have enough fabric eh, to avoid these um, uh, pockets, to avoid it from showing, I'll just go ahead and uh, iron this. I'll place my hemming gum on top and put just halfway, okay, and put the other way so it doesn't show. So when I get there, I'm going to do that. But I will advise you, you go ahead and get yourself the um, same fabric, okay, for ease of sewing. So you can see, that's the pocket now. So when we are going to sew this pocket, we are going to see how we will do. We are going to do that. So, Another thing I want to mention to you now before we proceed is that note that we have one inch seam allowance which we are going to use and sew. So at this part we are going to have our pockets. For both the front and back, please make a notch. We are going to make a notch of that one inch. Okay. So by the time we sew to this end, the pocket goes in. Okay. So you just make your notch. So this is where the pocket, the pocket will go in at one inch. So at that one inch now, once we sew this, it go the one inch goes in. So you see how we are going to do that. So now we want to cut what we have um, for the strip because we are going to start sewing the strip right away. So it's time for us to start sewing the strip. So I've already cut out my strip. And I'll be demonstrating to you how I did that. So before I cut out my strip, this is the center front. So you can see I ironed the center front. I made a crease line with it because that's where I'm going to sew my strip. So I'll now go ahead and measure from my neckline to the hem. And I have 41 inches. So that 41 inches I, I got. I have to cut my strip length of 43 okay I added two inches to it so the width of my strip is two and a half what I mean two and a half is you can see I ironed it can you see I ironed it so you have to fold in and iron half an inch half an inch then at the end of the day you have one and a half inch Okay, as with after folding half an inch, half an inch. So the whole length, when you spread the whole length, you will be having two and a half inches. So now I'll bring back my front fabric. And you can see my crease line is already showing. So I'll just go ahead and secure it with my pin. So I'm going to secure with my pin. All over so I'll secure it to the end then we'll go over to the machine and so okay. all right so it's time for our facing right now so for the front facing I've already cut my piece of fabric for it so my front facing measures um, the length is 18 inches and the width is 7 inches so I'll fold it by two, two equal parts, 
Then I'll fold my fabric at the center front as well because we want to start creating the tracing. So I'll put center front of the tracing below and secure with my pin. So you can see how I did that. So I'll now hold it down. So you have to hold it in a way that you still have the tip of this, for instance. So I'll now cut following the shape. Alright, so we have our facing right now. So this is what it looks like. So all you need to do is to give it the shape of the facing. So I'll go ahead now to sew this facing. I'm going to sew right side to right side. So I'll open up my facing and I will secure with my pin sew and top stitch. So let me do that. We are done with the facing right now, both for back and front, but this is the back one. Okay, so I've given it a good press. So the next thing we want to do is to sew the pockets. So for the pockets now, this is the pocket we cut. So these pockets, we are going to make place notches from that point. Uh, the pocket will start two and a half inches. So we are going to make a notch, as you can see, of one inch another notch of one inch okay so that's what we are going to use to sew so please don't make too much just one inch because the seam allowance is going to come at one inch so i'll take off my pocket and i'll put this together so i'll be able to transfer all my notches so i'm going to transfer all my notches so right now, I'll transfer all notches, both to the back. So I'll just make the notch. Then I'll do the same for the back. I'll get my back fabric and turn it, fold it by two as well. Place this one on top of it. So I'll be able to transfer the notches accordingly. So I'll quickly do that now. Then we'll begin to sew the pockets. All right, so I've turned, uh, made my notches as you can see. So now we will begin to sew the the pockets. So our pocket now we are going to pick them one after the other for each. So I just open up each bag, each dress. We have four pockets here as you can see. So I'll pick up one right side to right side so make sure you place the right side this is how it should be so i pick the one that is matching accordingly so that is how i'm going to secure all from that notch i made this is the notch i'm going to sew 0 0.5 inch to the next notch so right now i'm putting everything together the whole size the necklines and i'm going to sew them right away so i'm done sewing the pockets so you can see how the pockets are sewn and attached can you see that so i have to sew from the sleeve area 0 0.5 so when you are sewing from this kimono sleeve area you have to sew 0 0.5 and now go in and start sewing by one inch so once you get to this pocket, you sew by 0 0.5, 0 0.5, you come in by one inch and now sew down. So that's how to sew this. So the next thing is the sewing of our, of the turn up. So for the turn up, we are going to take the measurement of what we have on the sleeve area. So on the sleeve area here, 
I have from this stitching line to the next stitching line as eight and a half. Eight and a half divided by two will give me 17. You add one inch to it, that is 18. So the length of your, this will be 18 inches. Can you see? 18 inches. And the width is six inches. So I have two of it here. So I just go over and put it, put them together this way. I put it together this way and sew the half inch off. So let. So now I'm done sewing them. You can see I stitched at 0 0.5. So I'll now turn it this way. I'll fold it by two. Can you see? Making sure that each seam line matches with the other seam line this way. So this part will be the part that will be B below the sleeve. So I'll use one to show you or demonstrate to you what we are going to do now. So I'll turn my dress to the front so you'll be able to understand what we are doing here. So this is the sleeve we want to attach this turn up. So you can see the sleeve right here. This is the seam line. So this seam line, we are going to match it up with this seam line. But because we are going to turn up, turn this up, we are going to sew this, this way. Just to watch what I'm doing. We are going to sew. You can see how I held it. I will hold down here and match it up this way. Okay. So I'm going to sew now. You can see how I hold it down. I'm going to sew round at 0 0.5. So by the time we sew it, when you turn it, it turns this way. So we'll search this area to make it neat. Now I'm done sewing and I'm turning it upright. All right, people, we are done with this dress, but I just want to make little adjustments, okay? So from the... Uh, you can take two inches from your waistline instead of two and a half because you we still stitched 0 0.5 making it three inches so if you take two inches it will land us at 2.5 please take note of that then from this point our standard uh, sleeve opening should be six and a half sorry standard um, um, pocket opening should be six and a half so now I'm going to connect this to this one inch and then I'll sew down from here. I'll just sew and connect this. Please take that correction. So that means when cutting this uh, pocket, we are supposed to cut this way and this way. But I'll just take this correction. So I'm going to sew from here now to here, down and connect here. So you'll be able to put something in this pocket so let me quickly do that all right so now i've done a little correction to the pocket okay like i said you need to have something retain something inside this pocket so from here to here was the six inches um pocket opening which is standard then i have to stitch from to here i have to start from that six inches go this way and follow the one inch seam allowance can you see and completed the one inch seam allowance then sew from here to connect the 0 0.5 so doing that that will help you retain something in that pocket so the this is what it looks like when we turn it to the right side so you can see that we have a little opening for our pocket now the six and a half can you see we have a little opening right away so we can something you can retain something without falling off that that is exactly what we did right there okay all right and this is the one inch you can see even with the fabric i used the one inch once i iron it now you won't even see it showing on the same line. 
so that's how we come to the end of this tutorial so thank you for coming once again so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well thank you for coming see you in the next class bye